Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Phyllis of JRC Restoration Decor and Designs. I love the shininess, clarity, and sparkle of all things bling. You know the saying, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Well, in this video today, I will be sharing with you how I update different lightings in my home using crystals that I purchased from Amazon and also some pieces from Hobby Lobby. And I'll be sharing two DIYs that I did about two years ago. This is before I became active sharing my YouTube DIYs. Now these are just a few pictures of beautiful crystal chandeliers. My main focus is going to be sharing with you how I replaced my builder's grade chandelier with a Goodwill find. Now this is a Dollar Tree DIY crystal chandelier that I made using all Dollar Tree products. If some of you are familiar with the products with Dollar Tree, you'll see the, I call them the soup ladle. Also the little crystal bowls, tiny little mini crystal bowls. I use napkin rings, of course bling wrap to help bring out the bling. And then the crystals are all from Amazon that I purchased. Um, this was hanging in my daughter's apartment. It's no longer there because it was knocked down. So I took all of the crystal pieces off. This is also a, another Dollar Tree chandelier that I created. If some of you are familiar with the bowl, I put the two bottoms together, wrapped the bottom with some bling, and then used, again, Amazon crystals. Okay, now this is the chandelier that came with my home. I tried to update it by using the magnetic Hobby Lobby crystals, but it still didn't give me the look that I wanted, so I had it taken down, and I replaced it with my Goodwill find, which was $9.95, and I put glass shades on them. And it is so ironic that I found a chandelier online, and I believe it's Wayfair. This is exactly the same chandelier that I got for $10. This is over $400 something dollars. The shades also came with my Goodwill find. I just removed them. But first, what I did before I removed them to try to update it some more, here you see I did a glitter glue mixture and the chandelier is beautiful when the light is off. But when I turned the light on, you saw the brush strokes of the Mod Podge and sparse placement of where glitter was thicker than other places. So I removed them and again, I put these glass shades on thinking it would give me the look but that still did not give me the look that I was searching for. So I went back to Home Depot and I purchased these shades and I purchased one at a time because as you can see the price there and I had to get a total of five of them. And then I purchased this bowl or it looks more like a plate size and it's like 18 inches in diameter and that's what I used on my dining room chandelier. And then again, I removed the Amazon crystals from my DIY chandelier. I put all that together and here is what you see, my beautiful chandelier. And this is what I was looking for. I will be sharing with you towards the end of the video how I applied the crystal chains, is what I'm calling them, and each crystal piece, the prisms, the little round crystals, and the diamond shaped crystals, as well as the Hobby Lobby crystals. I'm going to be sharing with you how I attached everything to the chandelier. Now three more items in my home that I updated using crystals is coming up. The first one will be the ceiling fan, and then a candle stand, and then a wrought iron wall sconce. Now I took pictures offline to give me inspiration of how to update my ceiling fan, and this style was perfect. This is more like my ceiling fan. My blades are brown, and the up part of it is chrome. I removed the bowl that was on my ceiling fan, and I purchased 
this bowl also from Amazon and it is totally different from the bowl that's on my dining room chandelier. The one on my dining room chair is more like a plate and the one that's on my ceiling fan is like a bowl. This is close to what my ceiling fan looked like and here it is coming up. I love the way it turned out and if you look at the crystals hanging on the chain, those are magnetic Hobby Lobby crystals. I eventually took them off because they didn't stay on. I'm trying to figure out how to get them to stay on. But I loved the way my ceiling fan turned out. All I did was change out the bowl. And there is an opening right in the middle because this is originally a flush mount wall light. I just took the bowl part and attached it to my ceiling fan. Now here is another one. This is the candle stand and this bowl is just like the one on my dining room light except this is a smaller version and i originally bought this to go on my ceiling fan but it was too small and it worked perfectly to go on this candle stand i'm getting ready to show you a video of how i put it together now what i'm doing here is i'm showing you the comparison in size these two are just alike except the one on the chandelier is about 18 inches in diameter and I think this is 10 inches in diameter and if you look at it it looks more like a plate than a bowl and the ceiling fan if you look at it it's actually a big looks like a big round bowl. Now I'm going to show you how it comes together. Now this candle stand I purchased on sale from, I want to say Ross or Tuesday morning. No, it, Home Goods. I'm sorry, Home Goods. And I got it for $7, a little over $7. And I was wondering why it was so inexpensive. And it was, I noticed the candle stand leans. It doesn't stand up straight. Um, but that wasn't a problem for me. It worked. And here you can see the hole. This is the hole that's on all of the crystal pieces. It's on the ceiling fan piece and the chandelier piece because all three of these original are flush mount ceiling fixtures. But all I had to do was to take the round part off, put the shade on and turn the, screw the candle part holder back on and I made my own original candle stand. And I thought it was so neat when I discovered it. And I love the way it turned out. Now the next updated piece in my home using crystal is a wrought iron wall sconce that I purchased from Hobby Lobby about two or three years ago, maybe four years ago for $27. And it was that amount because it did not have the glass shade that came with it. So I updated it using the same shade that I used on my chandelier. And here I'm showing you how um, it's the same concept as the candle stand. You take the part off that holds the candle, you put that on, and then I screwed, I reached down in the shade and screwed it back on. But here is, I found at Wayfair, and I'm going to be purchasing another one, and I'm gonna see if I can purchase the globe separately. But this is the exact identical one, and by itself is $70. I got a steal for 27. But here again, I'm showing you how I'm going to connect it but first, I'm going to show you where it's going to be hanging. Now, this is a wrought iron, just the middle piece, not the two pieces on the side. Those came separately from Kirkland's, but the big middle piece is a thrift side find that I got for $14. Now, this is the back of the sconce, and I'm using tape so I can measure on the wall to make sure that I hang it leveled. And I use these drywall screws, which is the white ones and the screws that go in there, and this holds the weight of the sconce. And this is where it's going to be going on the wall. It's very heavy. That's why you have to use the drywall screws. And here it is where I got it hung up and I love the way it turned out. Now the two iron pieces on the side, I'm going to see if I can update those 
to have crystal sconces hanging on to. Those is actually a part of three that I got from Kirkland's, but I love the way the entire assembly looks together. Now lastly coming up, I am going to be explaining to you where I got all the crystal pieces. Well, actually got all the crystal pieces, which is here. Amazon is where I got them all. But these are all the pieces that I used on my Goodwill Dining Area chandelier. These are the round crystal balls, the smaller crystal balls. This is the diamond shape, the small diamond shape crystal. And I actually used them creating this candle holder. And I will put a link in the description box because I did do a DIY video of that. And again, these are the balls that I put on the chandelier and the little crystal piece on the bottom of the chandelier. And I'll be pointing that out as well. Now this is the Teardrop Prism Crystal, also from Amazon. And again, I use this also to create the top, um, the crystal top for the jar that I made. And this is the crystal length, also from Amazon. These are the ones that was on the DIY chandelier that I created. And I was glad I was able to reuse all of those to put on my dining room chandelier. So all in total, I use five different style crystals on my dining room chandelier, and that includes the magnetic Hobby Lobby crystals as well. And again, a video is coming up where I'll be pointing out everything and how I connected all of the crystals onto my dining room chandelier. And then also coming up here, I'm gonna show you the package or the barcode that has the number of the crystals this is the barcode and the name this is 99 feet long amazon has two different weight chandeliers these are the heavier ones and then i ordered some other ones that were very thin and in light but i use these because i love the weight of them and here is the chandelier here is a crystal ball that was on an old chandelier that i took off I actually attached the ball to one of the chain links using the jump ring that was already on the chain link. And I took the magnetic piece off of one of Amazon, not Amazon, but Hobby Lobby's crystals and attached it to a jump ring so that I can let it hang in the center. And again, it's magnetic. So it's able to connect to the chandelier without any kind of glue or anything else. That's the magnetic part and I just push it up in there with my finger and it just hangs by itself. The ball has just a little bit of weight to it, but not too heavy that it would fall. And I just love the way it just hangs in the middle of the chandelier. Now here is the Hobby Lobby Magnetic Crystal. That little piece, that was a piece that I took off of one of the other ones and put on the crystal ball that I was just showing you. But this is how it connects. It just connects to the metal of the chandelier. And that's only the Hobby Lobby crystals. All of the other crystals, like the crystal link chains, I used the jump ring to connect to the crystal bowl. And you'll see that's what I'm pointing out here. Now to get the chain crystal to connect to the top of the chandelier so it can droop and hang, I used the hot glue gun just on those pieces and turned it up under the bottom of the crystal as you saw. And then I connected the jump ring to the chandelier and I let it kind of hang loose so it can give that kind of swoop in between each arm. And what I like about it, if I want to remove these crystals, there's no damage to my chandelier because again, I use the glue stick from the glue gun. 
and all it is is just plastic when it dries or wax when it dries hard wax I am just loving how the light is just bouncing off each crystal. You see the pretty color and the brilliance in there. And it really gave my $10 Goodwill chandelier a high-end look. I will show you at the end of what the total cost was for me to put this together. Well, here's a final look of all of the items that I shared with you in this video using crystals to give that bling updated look. And I wanna thank you all for stopping by. <laughs>